the fourth Sunday in Advent, Year B, from the second book of Samuel. The Lord declares to you that the Lord will make you a house. In the name of that Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God argue about who's going to build a house for whom, it soon becomes clear that they're talking about a lot more than the price of cedar. A house can be a dwelling place, and it can also be a set of descendants and their households. And that connection constitutes God's promise to uphold the households of David's descendants, including the household of Joseph, from which Mary was not set aside, and in which Jesus was raised to adulthood. Now, there's also another wordplay going on in this ambiguity of the Lord will make you a house. The point is that God dwells in human hearts and only in tents or buildings as a matter of convenient coincidence. Mary takes this indwelling of God, of course, to a whole nother level. God quite literally makes a dwelling place within Mary's body in response to her acceptance of that peculiar courtship we call the Annunciation. Let it be with me according to your word, says Mary. And nothing's ever the same again. For what comes into being with Mary is a dwelling place for God in her womb. As Jesus grows his own human body out of the form and content he takes from hers. Paul speaks to the Romans of the mystery that was kept secret for long ages but is now disclosed mystery of which Paul speaks is wrapped up with God's desire to become one of us, inhabiting, becoming the same house of flesh that we ourselves have inhabited or become since he first formed us of clay. Through this mystery of incarnation, God brings about the obedience of faith. By becoming flesh, God is able to live faithfully into and all the way through the process of obedience to God under the same conditions of unknowing that are the requirements for faith. When we say that Jesus was obedient even unto death upon a cross, we know that God becomes not only obedient to God's faith in God's own almighty self, but also to God's own faith in humanity. With that obedience, God proclaims the worthiness, the desirability of the house that God has prepared not only for us, but also for himself from before time and forevermore.